Bam 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 uh, this fe- might feel like a little bit of a rant, but I just got uh, an article I started to write, but I figured it might be better if I do it in an audio format um, about just having fun. And my thoughts on some issues I see with Marvel Champions or how the community, which is generally a really great community, Sometimes there's some negativity uh, and some stuff brought up that kind of bothers me. So I just want to talk about it, get it off my chest a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to single out or call anybody out um, necessarily as an individual, but just more the the issues or the the groups that that bring this stuff up often. so, like I said before, like the, the community is, is generally great. There's lots of good people, very helpful people uh, in the community. But that doesn't mean that there's not faults or issues or complaints that people might have. Some of those complaints and faults in Marvel Champions is true. Every game has faults. But some of the stuff that I see brought up just seems unfair for Marvel Champions. So... Marvel Champions, as we know, has been designed to be a casual, easily accessible, pick-up-and-play card game experience, right? The whole the whole shtick is quick, easy to set up and tear down, easy to get together and play with your friends, and, and Caleb had even said on our podcast before that it's not a game designed for kids, but it's a game you can play with your kids, which means the way I interpret that is it's not a hardcore overly difficult experience and the great thing about Marvel Champions is the modularity of it you can make the game as easy or as difficult as you want by scaling, you can play rookie standard, expert, heroic you can throw in difficult modular sets there's a lot of modularity and you can craft the game experience pretty much to what you want Um, so but there is a section of the community. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty small section, but they seem to be part of the most vocal um, that criticize the game and some of its design. Like I said, I think it's unfair, but I wanted to bring them up. Uh, the, the biggest issues they bring up are the difficulty and the, the lack of campaign, the lack of story. Well, I mean, they we know the Red Skull campaign was, was tacked on um, at the end, but it sounds like the galaxy's most wanted and campaigns going forward will be a more in-depth, cohesive campaign experience. But basically, some of the biggest concerns that I hear about Marvel Champions is that Marvel Champions isn't Arkham Horror and it's not Lord of the Rings. It seems like people just want Marvel Champions to be a reskin of one of these other games, and that is really boring and really lazy expectation on my part. It's a brand new game with new theme, New design. Like obviously, there's they're going to share design spaces with those other games because they're designed by some of the same people and the same company. So there's going to be some crossover. But Marvel Champions is its own game with its own theme, and you shouldn't expect Marvel Champions to just be a copy and paste of one of these other games you might have played before. When you're playing as a superhero, you want to feel powerful. You want to feel like a superhero. It's not going to be much fun if I try to get my kid together and he can play Spider-Man and I can play Captain America if we just get our asses beat five games in a row. That's not going to be fun for him. It's not going to be fun for me and we're not going to want to... He's not going to want to keep playing with me, right? This is about... It's a co-op game. It's supposed to be fun, right? If I wanted to go drive a railroad spike through my skull in a gameplay experience, I'd go play like Bloodborne as a video game or I'd go play Arkham Horn. Um, But... I don't want to beat my head up against the wall. I want to embody uh, my favorite superheroes, and that's what this game allows us to do. So I think people should 
take that for what it's worth and, and just enjoy it and just have fun with it. Um, I said I think the biggest the biggest detriment is that people unfairly compare Marvel Champions to Arkham Horror and to Lord of the Rings. Um, the difficulty, I think we'll see more difficult things come up. I think we'll see more intricate design. I mean, the game is only a year old. One of the reasons I have a problem with the Lord of the Rings comparisons. The Lord of the Rings is a 10-year-old game that has had a lot more development time with a lot more people working on it. You can't expect Marvel Champions to match in depth what these games that are 5 or 10 years old can offer. Right? So, um, that was just one of the big things. Uh, and, and I know people, people out want to see more gimmicks and they want to see weirder things with, with the villain design. But from what I've seen from Lord of the Rings and, and sometimes Arkham, is that when they try these gimmicks, people complain about the gimmicks then anyway. Like uh, riddles, escape tests, uh, time counters, stuff like that. People ask for them, but then people complain about it. So it's like, what do you really want uh, from this game experience? Uh, sorry, I'm slowing down here at a, at a red light. Alright, so some other things that, that I think aren't fair is, is people act like uh, like Arkham and Lord of the Rings are flawless and that they were perfect out of the gate, which is ridiculous. You're comparing, like before, you're comparing a 5 and a 10 year old game to a 1 year old game, it's just not fair. I, I have some of these written down in my notes, but I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road here. Um, this game does not have the same target audience is another thing. It, it is very evident by the way FFG talks about this game, that they want Marvel Champions to be a more widely accessible, um, easier to play game, which is different from how they've talked about Lord of the Rings and Arkham. Um, sometimes there's comments in the Discord about game design with uh, either certain designers um, not designing well, or that uh, they're being lazy and copying from older games. Well, I just I think that's kind of ridiculous too, because some of these old older games might have cool, unique designs, and, and unless you're one of the you know hardcore people that all you do is play LCGs with your life, you're not gonna if you haven't played those other games. These scenarios are still going to be new to you, and when Marvel Champions is designed to be more widely accessible with a much wider target audience. Not everyone's going to have played these similar mechanics before. Um, and I think there's also a negative light on like the community in general, that it's not f as friendly as some of the other LCG groups, which from people I've talked to in my own experience, um, that seems to be not true where some old other games will have uh, some inside jokes and some... There's just a lot of stuff in those other communities that can be very off-putting to new players. Um, and I think people don't, don't think about that. From what I've seen in Marvel Champions, uh, the community is very helpful and welcoming uh, to new players. So that was just one of the topics I wanted to talk about was that it's just... It seems like uh, people want Marvel Champions to be something it's not and compare it unfairly to games that are 5 and 10 years old when the game's been out a year. Um, so I just think people need to chill, right? Chill out, bro, and uh, just wait. They've nailed the theme on 99% of the releases to this point, and the game's a lot of fun to play. Just have fun with it. Another thing while, while I'm on my soapbox here that really grinds my gears um, as people, content creators that do nothing but bring negativity to the game. If you don't have anything positive to say about the game or anything positive to offer the community, then why are you even playing the game? Why are you even creating content for the game? 
if you're creating content just for creating content purposes, then go create content for something that you actually enjoy doing. Um, Because I've seen articles, listen to podcasts, seen videos where it's just spreading this negativity in the community that is not helpful to anyone. Um, And it's okay to be critical and offer critical analysis. It's okay to not love every card or not love every release. But when you have nothing positive or nothing good to say or nothing to offer other than negativity and overly critical criticism that is unwarranted and and nonsense, then, like, what are you doing? That's just... So that's the other thing that grinds my gears. This is a little bit of a rant for me on my part. It's just, like, I'm just passionate about the game. All right, I love this game. Uh, I enjoy the side scheme community. I enjoy the Marvel Champions community. It's overly great. There's just the small things that kind of annoy me and uh, grind my gears that I just needed to vent a little bit. So what I'm trying to say is to not take this game so seriously. It is a fun card game, right, about comic book characters on pieces of cardboard. Just have fun. Try to have fun and enjoy it. If you're not having fun and you're not enjoying it, then this game is not for you. I'm just going to say that. So just try to have fun with it and enjoy it for what it is. So after saying all that, stay scheming, champions. Uh, Later. Something smells fishy around here. Bum, 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 b